Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. Now y'all know that I, I, I work, you've seen all the stuff I've released over the years. I've worked with some insane materials. Uh, I've, I've put stuff on slingshots that I thought could never be done when I started on this journey. Um, <clears throat> I also occasionally return the materials that I've used before but are very different. And <clears throat> this one is especially unusual, okay? Now, if you look at this closely, okay, first of all, simple black phenolic core. I have a lot of black phenolic at a quarter inch right now from a, a good trade from Lava Stock. Copper pin. Now, this is Corian, okay? Which I, I can't remember who I acquired it from it was it was a purchase um, from somebody who does Corian counters for a living and when you do the Corian counters they got to cut out the sink shape well the sink shape is perfect size for to scale four or five slingshots so he would save some of those and send this but anyway this one literally almost looks like stone it's nuts. If I didn't know better, I'd, I'd almost say it was like sand mixed in resin. But it's definitely Corian. Because it smells like Corian. It sounds like Corian. And it was sold to me as Corian. Okay? But as you can tell, it's just ridiculous how crazy this is. I've got more of this too. And I can't wait to work on it. The thing is... The strange thing about this Corian is, is when you look at the top surface, which is the surface that's supposed to be exposed, it looks very dark. It's, it, it's almost unexciting. But you flip it over and look at the bottom of it, and all this stuff is in there, and all this exciting stuff. I just, I don't know, to me it was almost like when you glue this Corian together to put a countertop, it, it must not look very interesting. If I was to ever install this Corian, I'll be flipping it over and sanding it because this is what you get. Okay? And can you imagine that on a countertop? That must be insane. So I know what I'm putting on my countertops next time I get them replaced. Anyway, hope you guys like it. Just it's a, I, I guess I should say it's the, it's the little plinker shape. My understanding is the little plinker was actually also developed by Day Hiker. Uh, I was informed by someone who's old school, who knows those things. So, two of the most used designs uh, seem to have come eventually from Day Hiker. Well, hopefully, I'm right. If not, correct me below in the comments. But anyway, hope you like it. Take care. Bye.